The 12th Business Valuation Conference, hosted by the European Association of Certified Valuators and Analysts, took place on November 22nd and 23rd, 2018, in Düsseldorf, Neuss, Germany. The event brought together 350 CPAs, corporate finance and tax consultants, analysts, controllers, lawyers, and academics. In his welcome address, Brian Jones, Chief Operations Officer and Executive Vice President of Business Development of the NACVA, spoke about the exciting development of the EACVA as the European Charter of the Global Association of Certified Valuators and Analysts. Where EACVA makes history as the largest business valuation association in Europe and also with record-breaking attendance to this year's conference. Four keynote speeches and 24 different workshops on business and intangible asset valuation were offered to the international participants. A special highlight was a variety of workshops on international tax valuation for transfer pricing. Well-known speakers from the tax authority discussed with valuators the challenges and requirements of expert reports for tax valuations. Matthias Meitner, professor at the International School of Management in Munich and founder of ValueWesk, shared his excitement about the conference. Honestly, I love this whole conference. So it's one big topic, uh, business valuation, and you can look at things here from totally different perspectives, uh, academic, uh, taxation, accounting, and investment perspective. Uh, this is really a holistic view on this topic that you get here from this conference. And uh, yeah, what I, what I also appreciate uh, a lot is the possibility uh, to exchange ideas here with uh, lots of my colleagues during coffee breaks and uh, also during the, the evening uh, events, which are really lovely. It's uh, honestly a great conference and I'm happy to come back uh, next year. Professor Mauro Bini from the Bocconi University of Milan spoke in his keynote about conditional and unconditional expectations in the valuation of startups and companies in financial difficulties. But uh, starting before doing this, we need uh, to ask a question. Are these cash flows uh, conditional, expected, or mixed? Because we know that the choice of the discount rate is not independent by the nature of cash flows. So we need to understand what is the nature of cash flows. What techniques are we using now? We have used a cost of capital CAPEM, assuming that the cash flows are expected cash flows. But is this true? It depends how we have formulated our forecasts. Presumably, the forecasts for uh, the stabilized business product A are different than the forecast for the new product. Between the lectures and during the dinner event at Roncalli's Apollo Varieté Düsseldorf, the participants had many opportunities for active networking. Eric Jan Hennis. Chairman of the Board of the Netherlands Institute of Registered Valuators emphasized the high level of the presentations. I really enjoyed the Congress. Uh, it was uh, fantastically organized with uh, a lot of interesting sessions and um, uh, particularly the, the, the keynote speakers uh, were very interesting um, and I thought the level of the workshops was very high so it was very interesting for us. Yeah. I would definitely recommend it to my colleagues, yes. In his concluding remarks, Wolfgang Kniest thanked all attendees for their active participation and announced EACVA's Business Valuation Conference 2019 in Berlin, featuring Aswat de Moderan. I can perfectly recommend this conference to everybody who's interested in uh, business valuation. Basically, I think it's, uh, it's a must. If you want to stay up to date in business valuation, you have to come to this conference here.